<laughs> on the street, Adam. On the street. <laughs> Hey, what is going on, YouTube? It's your boys back today with another Misery Loves Company podcast. This is episode six of the podcast series, and uh, we are joined here today with Pete, a.k.a. Mr. Voodoo Monkey, a.k.a. Mr. Jersey's Finest, a.k.a. Mr. Goddamn Beautiful Man. And then we also joined here today by Chad, a.k.a. Mr. Rush Mellow, a.k.a. Mr. Number One Dad Gamer. It's crazy. And then finally, le last but not least, joined here today with Responsive, a.k.a. Man, Gabe, a.k.a. The right Phenom, now, the Boston's finest. What's up? How y'all do? How y'all boys doing today? Doing all right. Doing all right. Doing good. Doing good. Hell yeah, hell yeah. We do have a train. I'm doing great. You know, as always, your host here, Doughboy, Doughboy Fresh, Doughboy OG, Mr. Adam, Mr. Oh, yeah. We're getting it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. We have a range of topics to go over today on this episode six. Um, I wanted to start it off with actually a question um, for everybody here, and then I'll go ahead and answer that question as well. Uh, but if you guys could have any superpower... Any superpower you can have, what would it be? Yeah, let me yeah. Can I start off? What? Hit it, Gabe. Hit it, Gabe. Yeah. Yo, yo. You gotta have, yo, this is my superpower. Time, time traveling. That's gonna be my superpower. Understand? What, what is it? Time lapsing. All right. So it's literally you jump in through time whenever you feel like it, pause, play. All that stuff while being able to decide your age. How old do you want to be? Fucking absurd. Boom. Do I have to say more? <laughs> do, I have to say more? Do, I have to, do I have to explain it to you? So, guys? but like, let me ask you this. What happens? Like, how do you make that happen? Like, what's the, like, do you wink and like you're like fucking Toto and, you know, going. Whatever you want to make it happen. Like, do you think about it? Do you have the snap your finger? Hey, think about it. Like, it would work this way. You think about a time and a place, and then you snap your finger, and then boom, you're there. The boom, dinosaurs up your so, ass. So you're saying if I cut yeah. off your hands, if I cut off your hands, you no longer have that superpower. I mean, Damn. I can snap my toes. I can snap my toes. <laughs> I can snap my toes. <laughs> We're finding loopholes here, boys. With a power like that, you like clap them that. cheeks. <laughs> You He's working clap something. Through time. Clap something. <laughs> clap some hams. Hell yeah. Something's getting clapped, all right? <laughs> that's all I was saying. <laughs> yes, that's a good way to start the podcast. That was old boys. Yeah. What about you, Chad? Your superpower if you had one? Gross. Uh, tele 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 teleportation. Teleportation? So mm -hmm. not like more like not like his where his time lapse you would be just teleport from place to place. Yeah, like if I need to go to work, I want to be able to just and I'm there. Why would you go to work? Teleport to the vault. <laughs> yeah, vault. this guy's. I'm gonna teleport to work. <laughs> this, you think you're working if you got teleportation powers, bro? Yeah, no, I guess I guess you're not, huh? <laughs> I like, teleported my ass money. to the Playboy Mansion. I mean, listen, like, e like even if you were like fine, like. You don't break the law in America. You just teleport to fucking China, like rob a bank, come back. They're gonna be looking for fucking Chad in China. Yeah, I mean, yeah, just don't sure. travel there. You know what I mean? Like, would it be? Have you ever seen a movie Jumper? You know, go to the fucking uh, Pablo Escobar's fucking attic, grab a couple bands, come back. Yeah, he would never even realize his gun. Just like that. <laughs> no, but like the movie Jumper, where he has to see like a picture of where he's going. Like, would it be something like that, or would it just be like you could just think of it in your mind and go? Uh, latitude, longitude, and then boom. Okay. okay. Nice. So you gotta clap them cheeks too. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Clap, <laughs> clapping the cheeks too. Okay. We got we got time lapse boom. and we got teleportation. Got, got, got that's like, this that's is the if, This is if Adam boom. cuts off our hands. All right. Keep <laughs> in mind. Like, I'm just saying, like, if you guys are superheroes, I could be like a super villain. You know what I'm saying? You know, there's always <laughs> yin, yin and yang. <laughs> <laughs> clapping them cheeks. <laughs> All right, Pete, what about you? I mean, they took some good ones. They took some good ones, and I don't want to take theirs, so I'm going to I'm gonna say some kind of, like, invulnerability with 
the ability to end my life, though, oh. if I want to. I want to, you know, we'll lock it in, like, uh, live forever. Uh, so, you know, invulnerability and penetrable bullets and damage and, you know, regeneration, uh, you know, shit like that. Uh, but if I say, like, you know, I want to end it, like, three times in a row, like, that's the, you know, so so say Earth blows up and you're stuck in a black hole, you know, you're not stuck here by yourself, you can turn it off. And so you have a way to, you have a way out. Like, yeah, I want a kill switch. So with that, would you be technically like immortal until yeah, you do yeah. that? So like yeah, you would live, much. you would age. Yep. Would you age? Uh, no, no age. Not, no no age. age. So what age would you be stuck at? I say I say thirty is a smooth number. Thirty. Okay. So that you way pass. you're old enough to kind of do everything, and you can kind of bounce around and not not be too uh, suspect. Okay. Okay. Question, but would you rather feel pain? What? Yeah, you broke up, Gabe. Would you rather feel pain or no pain? I mean, I'm I'm vulnerable. I don't gotta feel shit. Yeah, but there's there's like people that are vulnerable that still feel pain, like in the comic books and stuff. So you would want it painless. Yeah, whatever. It don't matter. You're gonna heal. Who gives a shit? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. This doesn't. Yes, it doesn't really matter. Oh wow! You shot me. I'm back. (laughs) <laughs> you thought, bitch. Clap them cheeks. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, so that that that's like he wants he wants to be Deadpool. Yeah, you're right. It's yeah, Deadpool. He wants yeah, Deadpool. Much. but with but with an out. That's my with that's my out. extra. Okay. That's my I want an out. Yeah, nice, nice. I I could respect. I don't that. want the fucked respect up that. face. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to be burned. <laughs> yeah. This is fucking beautiful. You can't. Yeah, you can't fuck with that. Jeez. I say if I could have one. Superpower. Oh man, this is tough. Stretch Armstrong for your dick. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I would I would say it'd have to be the ability to fly. Like if I had the ability to fly, like that would, I, I just think that would be so cool. Like just be able to like sure you can't just zap and go places, but you fucking up there in the sky to like fucking with people, you know, hey, pick somebody up, plane, drop, catch a bird, stuff. you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, just like and bitches would love that, you know. They want me to take you for a ride, you know. I'll now, would you be like here. a baseball player or a basketball player? Be like full court. Shh, what do you mean? Yeah. The ill dunk. What do you mean? You go up over everybody? Oh, time? you just catch, catch that air? No, 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 I wouldn't. I wouldn't even use it for like that. I, I, I would just use it selfishly, you know. Like I wouldn't try to you save them. Sell, like, I would. I would uh, just highest like, paid player in the NBA because yeah. you're guaranteed a championship, <laughs> floating from the fucking net. <laughs> Not fucking guarding, right? Throw me the ball. Upward motion or whatever, like. <laughs> no, but like just the ability to be able to fly, and I don't know, just like if I wanted to go to Japan, I could just fly there. You know, so how fast to go, you fly? I would say, I would say like mock speed. Like you just get up and and then just boom. Superman, like you could spin yeah. so fast, you can re- reverse the rotation of the Earth. Yeah, yeah, super, super fast. You know, I could turn back the time of. The Earth by going the opposite way, you know. <laughs> All right, okay. And then you clap I, them cheeks and you out. Yeah, clap them cheeks and I'm out. But I feel like that would be cool, like the ability just to fly and have fun with it, you know. Yeah. Well, as you guys did notice in the podcast, we lost Gabe, but he'll be right back in. He joined. He joined. You know, he's got a a monkey cranking his internet in the back. You know. Yeah, my my <laughs> phone actually fell. My my phone actually died. This guy he doesn't have a podcast and doesn't have his phone charged. Crazy, I'm baffled. Crazy. But crazy. Well, what'd you say, Chad, about the benefits? Uh, like, 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 if you did like the teleportation versus the ability to fly, like each one of them definitely has their pros versus oh, cons. A teleport wins all day. Uh, the only, the only. What do you mean? You're like boom, teleport top of a plane, boom, teleport back, whatever. Yeah, but if teleport you teleport to, to the top of a plane. And then you're landing, or you, you fall off the plane, you know? Like, fall off, you teleport back. Boop, done. What if you can't clap your hands? Because you have no hands because I dropped them off. You clap them you cheeks. Clap. What are you talking about? You just snap. <laughs> what if you, you have snap. no hands? What are you snapping? You gotta clap something. You, you clap, clap your thighs. Clap them balls. Clap balls. I'm saying, like, you would, you'd be there faster than, than flying, and you'd be, like, less suspect. Well, it depends what you want to use your power for. I mean... Chad's robbing vaults over here, so you don't have to work. You're flying around just to have, just, I don't know just, what the hell you're doing. Just Mermaids of the around. sky or whatever you're doing. Okay. I was I was just looking to to beat my commute. 
That was it. <laughs> Chad just wants to be a regular person as he is, but just, just, just with powers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's great. Right, let's move into our first topic of the night. Uh, we're going to talk about Fortnite. I mean, obviously, we left off with the last podcast where they were in the black hole. Um, they did release the second chapter of Fortnite, which is a brand new map. Um, uh, it's crazy. It's, it's a map that's redesigned. It's beautiful. I mean, they started off with the fresh season one for this chapter two. Um, so a lot of it's a lot of more basic um, weapons and uh, equipment that you can get in the game, which is really nice. Uh, but uh, I know you guys, Chad, watched me stream in a couple for uh, for a while, and uh, he played a little bit. But what are you guys' thoughts on Fortnite? Uh, I'm out on that one. I'm, I'm uh, I haven't played Fortnite in a minute, and I haven't been home to check out the new season. So I'm gonna let you guys take that. I'll say my last opinion. I'll say my opinions for last. <laughs> All right, Chad. <Jack, laughs> I mean, I mean, I'll say I'll say what I said last night. Like, I don't really, I don't really like playing Fortnite, but I do like watching Fortnite, which is interesting. It's the first game I think I can ever say that about, and uh, it's nice to see the game so basic again, like. I was watch, like just watching playing. I didn't even play a few games, but like just between all of that, like just seeing it, it was like there's not a lot in the game right now. So everything like, and they made some nice additions. And I had I have to admit, yo, Adam, Adam literally downing people and then throwing them across the room over and over and over and over and over and over and over again was pretty hilarious. <laughs> I was dying. <laughs> but if you guys didn't see that um, on the stream, we'll I'll link a clip of that in Twitch chat or uh, from the Twitch down below in the description. Uh, what he's talking about is in Fortnite, you could actually pick up a down player and put them on your shoulder, and you can. There's a button to actually throw them, which is the button is named Yeet. <laughs> so you yeet the person across the room. And so me and the person I was playing with last night, we were throwing. <laughs> The person back and forth in the room. So what's the, what's the point? As somebody who hasn't uh, played season two yet, what's the point of being able to pick somebody up? Uh, or there is no they, point. I don't think there is a point really. Like, I would see uh, is it is helpful for like picking your teammate up. Like, you can pick your teammate up if they're like knocked in the middle of the street. Eat them behind and then, the cover. Ye yeah, eat them behind the house or something. But uh, as far as like picking up the enemy, it's all troll. Like uh, every time someone's yeah. picked up somebody, like throw them someone into, like a trap or something. Yeah, someone picked do. me up and threw me into a trash can last night. <laughs> it was very disrespectful. And like your your own teammates can pick you up. So like the person I was playing with last night, she picked me up and like I was like, no, let me down. I'm a grown man. But it was it was just great. Like there's just so much stuff you could do with Fortnite now, and it just the game feels really good. Like they they changed the interface a lot they changed like the map up which i have a theory about what they're going with for this chapter uh, but gabe give us some thoughts and then i'll dive into that theory real quick all right so Ooh. before i give my thoughts what do you mean by basic back to basic chad because you use the word basic there's not a lot of like the like added things like jump like i didn't see jump pads in the game i didn't see um like there's not really many like things it's like it's just like it's a very base model of the earlier seasons or uh chapters excuse me of fortnite or season no, no season, basically yeah, season, season one yeah. right season yeah one. so basically it's what, more than what, season one i feel like it's more like season three yeah so basically there's like no there's no movement in the game as much as they put in in the last chapter um so there's no jump pads there's no bounce pads there's no uh impulse grenades none of that there's no vehicles the only vehicle they have right now is a boat and that drives on water fast but if you drive it on land it goes really slow um but uh, that's the only form of movement and it's not even like you can't even move that fast with it so like it's it's a real basic way of moving and that's and there's limited amount of boats on the map so it really it feels like season two season three where if you got caught in that storm and you didn't have enough healing you weren't making out of that storm Whereas now, before, you could jump pad and bounce pad your way out of the storm quickly. So it's making people rotate a lot, a lot sooner. So would you say it's more competitive? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely more competitive? Because now I'm going to give you my thoughts. Because that's, 
the only thing that messed up Fortnite for me. That, you know, I used to play. You know, you guys see me play on um, season one, season two, season three, and I was pretty good at it. I'm not like I won. I won like twenty dollars one time. But <laughs> hell that's, yeah, that's, like, that's, just, that's not the point. The point is that it was competitive, and it, like I'm a competitive person. I like my games competitive and. Fortnite was a child's game, but it still had that sense of competitiveness when you played against people that had thumbs and people that knew how to build. So it was a challenge, and it was always, it always, it always felt nice, you know, out challenging somebody, out building somebody. And then all of a sudden, they put this the the like I didn't. This is how I don't even I don't even know what it's called, but it's like a robot with a sentry gun. Oh, the max. Like they started adding all this unnecessary stuff that little kids use and little kids can have no skills can just use and and just bulldoze it through the play, player number one winning the game. So it was just like that killed it for me. I was just like, what the hell is Fortnite? Fortnite is just it's just a clown game. No, but, they... but it's good, it's good to hear that they they went back to the roots. I might actually consider read that. No, I, I would I would highly suggest like people that have like haven't played Fortnite in a while for those reasons like when they started adding airplanes and swords and mechs and stuff like that. I highly recommend people to go back and just give it a try because it does feel like those earlier stages of Fortnite where it was player versus player, skill versus skill rather than objects that could get you ahead of the game. Yeah. Which is which is really nice. It's really it's really like Chad had said before on another podcast. It might be it for modern warfare. Like we, we're not going to get those little Timmys and Jimmys because they're going to be busy playing Fortnite because it's 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 popular right now because they dropped the new map. Everything's new. It's and their parents it, don't have to drop sixty bucks on a game. Yeah, exactly. They could give them ten dollars for the battle pass. I said pass. this in episode one of our podcast. I said it in episode one that wouldn't it be crazy if, like, right before Modern Warfare came out, Fortnite dropped a new map, and it literally, it literally happened. And by the way, yo, kudos to Epic to Epic Games. Like, their their marketing team is is out of this world oh, yeah. dude like to literally take your game totally offline for like what it was like 70 hours or something like that yeah, it was two full days that was all right so for 48 hours and then just to drop a brand new map to make people just stare at no a leaks no leaks either right of a black hole. there was a leak of this the the trailer that dropped about six or seven hours before the map dropped. Yeah, and like, I, I mean, they had they had me logging into their Twitch three times every day. Yeah, just to see what was going on, and people were there were hundreds and thousands of people staring at a black hole. Millions, like millions. The, it's the, the Adam, it's the it's the most streamed live event ever. Oh yeah, definitely. They were uh, on on YouTube. On YouTube, this guy, uh, God, what is his name? I'm forgetting his name right now. I, I believe it's Fear itself, but he streams on YouTube. He had 450 thousand current viewers through the whole time he was streaming just that black hole. That's Insane. Nuts. That's nuts. People got paid on a black hole, huh? Oh yeah. Fortnite is yeah. like, yo, streamers, you know that uh, the whole you're not liking our game anymore? Well, we're going to give you this black hole to stream, and you're going to make a lot of money. <laughs> That's uh, just yeah, their, their marketing insane. Time out. Real, a weird flex on Epic Games' part. How do you do this over Columbus Day weekend where all of America has Monday off? All Excuse me. All of the children, children have, have Monday off. off, and you drop it the day they go back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a big F you to the kids, to be honest. Those kids yeah, those, those no, kids had no, to spend time no, with their Monique, family. <laughs> Monique texted me and was like, oh, the, I was like, all everyone's talking about is the black hole. And I'm like, uh, it's over. They, like, they and dropped a new map. None of them knew. None of them knew. What? Yeah. And, uh, and it's like, it's like, I don't understand. Like, they were all watching it. Like, why wouldn't you have done that like on Thursday and Friday and then dropped a map on Saturday and been like, boom, America, three day weekend with our brand new game? I don't yeah. understand that. Yeah, that, you, I don't, that, that, that tactic seemed a little weird, but honestly, yeah. I feel like it was a troll on their end. 
you you imagine you imagine you go to the grocery store and then you don't know nothing about Fortnite and you just walk <laughs> in and you just hear a conversation about a black hole. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you you saw the black hole. You've been staring at that <laughs> shit for yeah, three I days. Saw the black hole. Yo, it's still a black hole. Yeah, it's still a black hole. <laughs> just wondering what the hell that's. The lady's about. like, we're all gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Well, real quick before we get off the Fortnite topic, I just wanted to jump in and give my theory about like what's going on with the game right now. So when you buy the bottle pass, you get two characters right off the start. Those characters have unlockable like uh, side characters, which are their alter egos. In the map that they dropped, is it has names of places that are from the original map. So like Retail Row. Um, mm-hmm. There's other ones. I'm sorry if I'm forgetting the names right now, but Sally's the, store. Um, yeah, I mean, there's there. There be. Uh, they have like farmlands that are like Anarchy Acres. You know, they have a lot of the things that are similar to the first map that they dropped, but they're different. Which I'm thinking is pretty much when the black hole happened, it put everybody in an alternate dimension. So basically, it's the same dimension. It's the same everything but just an alternate version so like that's why they have the alternate egos and stuff like that and as the story progresses it's gonna figure out um pretty much that you're just in an alternate dimension yeah isn't some of the names altered too they have like salty something and like, yeah yeah mm-hmm. so that's pretty much my theory on, on where they're gonna go with their couple seasons in they're just gonna make, basically everyone's gonna come back uh, not really come back but you're gonna see a lot of the revamping of the old characters and stuff like that basically like alter uh, egos and stuff like that and just to make it clear these guys this said yo these guys fuck call of duty over <laughs> just to make yeah. that clear <laughs> yeah, like, it was supposed to be call of duty season everyone was talking about call of duty and then these motherfuckers come up with a map a whole new map i just i just cut like half the audience right there oh I yeah we'll be playing fortnite when call of duty it comes out, so yeah. it's just like, it really fucked Call of Duty over. Because everyone's trying to try to get ahead in Fortnite because it's something brand new, you know. And even though Call of Duty is brand new, only the people that play Call of Duty religiously are still going to play Call of Duty. I mean, like all—I mean, I can speak for all of us. We're all going to play Call of Duty, but people that are like they play Call of Duty, but they're casuals and they're casual Fortnite players. I feel like they're going to choose Fortnite over Call of Duty. Again, it's free. Yeah. It's free. So it, when, it. So when it comes down to it, you can play for free. Yeah. But so, you guys feel like they would have been... Sorry. Just a quick one more question. You guys don't feel like they would have been more successful if they released the maps sooner rather than later to the Call of Duty date? I mean, what? What? there's no downside for them. It's a free-to-play game. They make $120 million a month. This, they know... October 25th, they're going to lose players to there, so what better time to drop it than a week before? I mean, set literally seven days to Modern Warfare release today. Perfect. Yeah. Battle no, pass. Battle feel... passes are bought, and you're now you're stuck, because you want to complete your battle pass, get your coins back, so you can get next next battle pass. You know, definitely. And I feel like the only way they could have fucked over Call of Duty more is if they dropped it the same day Call of Duty came out, because that would have just totally killed it. No, but by doing it now, people are not going to the store to buy it. I mean, the people have pre-ordered, pre-ordered, but the ones that are like, oh, I'll just go to Walmart and grab it that day might not. Yeah, exactly. Can can we talk about something else that this, like, really affects is the the, the new Call of Duty League. Like, everyone, no one's going to be watching Modern Warfare. Everyone's going to be watching people playing Fortnite. Well, I mean, so, the Call of Duty League doesn't really get as many viewers. As it, it, it just never has. The Call of Duty, Call of Duty in general, has a way bigger audience for public gaming and pub stomping than it ever has had for esports. And that I feel like the Call of Duty League is going to change that because they're going to do a lot more like in-game events and stuff like that. You're going to have more access to that. So Call of Duty League is going to be fine. It's going to be better than it was before just because it's going to have more access to the actual Activision. But Call of Duty will never be able to compete with um, Fortnite in viewership, ever. Overwatch doesn't even compete in viewership in Fortnite. The only ones that beat Fortnite is League of Legends, and that game's been around forever, and it's a globally played game. 
Yeah. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I guess I just feel like it doesn't help the brand grow in in that specific arena, I guess. And like that, in that niche, it doesn't really help yeah. grow. Go ahead. You finish it that. Yeah. No, I'm good. That was it. It just, it doesn't help the grow. That's it. I feel, I feel, it's just because, yo, Call of Duty is just, is the same shit, you know? Like, whatever whatever team you watch, they're going to do the same setup. They're going to do the same. Like, it's just a little little different, just a little bit strategy-wise. But overall, it's the same big picture. Like if you look at Fortnite, for example, you don't know what the fuck you're going to see at Fortnite. You don't know if you're going to get a rocket to the sky, you're going to fall, you're going to drown, or whatever the case may be. You don't know what the hell's going to happen. But Call of Duty, you just, it's so predictable. And I don't know. I was hoping I don't really watch it like that, to be honest with you. Well, it's yeah. I mean, unless you're like a diehard esports fan of Call of Duty, you're not watching every single event just because, yeah. like you said, it the replay value is not there. The top teams that are there are the top teams. You know, you mm-hmm. don't have that underdog where like, oh, maybe they can make a run. You know, and if they do have a run, that's exciting. People tune in, but people tune in. For those major teams, Optic, FaZe, Hunter yeah. Thieves, you know, the viewership from those teams when they play each other is through the roof on Call of Duty yeah. when it's tournaments. But as soon as one of the team loses or both of those teams are out of the tournament, people stop watching because yeah. they can't make it exciting for other people because people treat that like their sport. Like a lot of people watch their sports team and their sports team only, you know, they don't flip on the game just to watch any game. That's that's what well, Fortnite. I mean, doesn't matter who you enjoy because when it gets down to those final circles, it's mayhem and it's fun and it's crazy yeah. to watch. Mm-hmm. Bro, that, man, those those finals, those at the in New York, dude, those ending games were right insane. It was crazy, insane. The, How many people the, were in like, that circle? Oh yeah, God. there was like 30, 40 people in the final circle, and yeah, the like circles moving. Around, yeah, wild. They're all you just. There's so much shit going on. So much shit going on. I love the views when they do it from like the they pull out from the side. You yeah. just see all the builds going, and yeah. like you just know like all these people are fighting for their lives in these tiny circles, which is awesome. And they literally be right next to each other, and they just be waiting, just like <laughs> when's the perfect moment to strike? Is it the intense of it? It's just crazy to me. No, it's it's they Fortnite is honestly, especially because they what they did right now, they're not going anywhere for a long time, because the it's exciting to watch, it's exciting to play, and they dump loads of money into their esports. Yeah. Money, yeah. money talks. You know they have the best entertainers yeah. playing Fortnite because money talks. And these kids buying costumes left and right every single day. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Credit card, swipe. Come <laughs> on, let me just say swipe. Swipe. <laughs> Their PayPal's are so, yeah, so PayPal's link to it. Since we're talking about since we're talking about credit cards and swiping and whatnot, can we actually transition into the battle pass system that's going to be implemented into um, into Modern Warfare? And can we talk about what what everyone's thoughts are and if any of us think it's going to be successful? Um, I don't know. Adam, what do you think? I mean, I think it could be successful, um, mainly on the fact that they are taking away, they've already confirmed that you're not going to prestige in this game like you prestiged in the other games before. You're not going to go to level 55, reset everything, and then go back to level 55. It's going to be a progressive system, so you don't lose anything by leveling up and going higher and higher tiers. So, I mean, with that and then the battle pass, quote unquote, like battle pass that they're going to have is I feel like it's going to be a good, good thing for Call of Duty. I mean, it's going to have fresh content stuff that you can buy for $10 and yeah. then you get a load of stuff that you get to earn, like you earn yourself. So it feels more rewarding when you earn stuff yourself, because, I mean, with cases and stuff like that, you don't know what's coming out of that case. You can get a fucking shitty common, or you can get something crazy. But like, the, I feel like the case system never really works unless they have like really cool stuff in there, and they're updating it constantly. You know, I mean, that's my opinion. I feel like the battle pass and the marketing that they're going to go that way is going to help the game a lot. 
I I agree completely. By the so way. is battle pass gonna be like a blackout layup? Like just keep earning, earning. earning? I feel like there's, there's gonna be seasons. Yeah, yeah it's, like, it's gonna be just. Like, there's okay. a premium, a premium one, pay ten bucks, and then there's a the free one. And they said they're not putting any weapons, um, on the pay for one. No, all the base models will be available in the free version. I'm sure there's gonna be like yeah. dope tactical versions or. You know, dope. But the base model of every weapon's available on the free version. The only thing that kind of there's two two things, two interesting points. I think. Um, what are your thoughts of a sixty dollar game also going with this free to play model, uh, where you have to pay ten bucks and earn back your own COD points to, you know, continue on? You already paid sixty for a game. Fortnite, you get it because like that's maybe how they earn their money. They gave you the game for free, but we're already paying for the game. And uh, the second thing is, do you think they did this with all the recent? Uh, backlash and outcry with loot boxes, like they actually just put this in the system, like like yesterday or a week or two ago, because they did say it's not coming out. They they don't want it coming out when the game launches. It's going to be down the road because they want to like, you know, make sure everyone enjoys the game and doesn't get straight into focusing on this. They play the story mode and stuff, but like, yeah, you know, I'm assuming that's just them buying time, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, definitely to... because they got a big <laughs> outlash about uh, the because they were originally going to be doing loot boxes. And then they went ahead and changed it because of the backlash they got. Because loot boxes, you unless you tell us the percentage of what, like, we want that item. So that item drops one out of 20 cases. If I open up 20 cases, I better get that fucking item, you know? Mm -hmm. If they don't tell me those, 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 the chances of getting that item like CSGO does, then how do you know you're ever going to get that item? I mean, I opened so many goddamn crates in Advanced Warfare so Bruh. many goddamn crates. I spent so much money on that game. I <laughs> never got a weapons variant. Not one. But I mean, yeah. but you got to think yeah. every single time because you can get repeats, wow. right? I think they should take repeats out. That's yeah. when they did loot boxes, there should be no repeats. Period. Yeah, they have the capability of doing it. I don't under it's literally just a matter of coding. Like yeah. uh, well, they have it. those weekends where there's no dupes, no dupe weekend no dupe what there should just be no dupes considering yeah. that there's a common at least this is you know going back blackout or uh, black ops 3 i guess would be the last one right where we were playing or i don't even yeah. know but okay. you had co you had a common camo for every weapon you had a com you know common sticker for like uh, like for every weapon so like instead of being one common camo for every gun it's every gun every subsection every, every person, yeah that's a lot. It adds up to a fuck ton of filler. Yeah. A fuck ton of filler. Yeah. yeah. They should do it more as like with the blackout where if you get a weapon camo, you could put it on most of your guns. Yeah, 100%. One yeah. common across them all. But I mean, it, but that makes the pool smaller. So that means people actually get crap that they want. Uh, or if they took out, I think if they, if they just took out dupes, I'd have been happy. Like, yeah. Fine. You get but, comments oh, a bunch of times, you do, but you won't get them again. And Pete, to further back your point, I mean, look at Black Ops 4. We've all played a solid amount of Black Ops 4. Who has ever given a shit about opening any one of those loot boxes? I don't open them at all. Ever. I, don't I, I don't care about opening them. I open them just to see stuff, but I don't get excited. Like, I don't want anything, you know? I don't even know what there is. To I actually been saving because they got one that gives you, like, you save six, and then you get, like, a reserve pay that doesn't give you any copies. So I've been saving it, and, you know, they've been working out for me, but it's just too much work. And you already know, Call of Duty always wants your money. So that's really the main goal, is to take your money. Yeah. But I feel like moving to this system, uh, at least they're trying something different, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like Modern Warfare, in general, is trying a lot of stuff different. I mean, like, you saw in the uh, the beta, at the beginning of the beta, the first weekend, they tried it with no minimap. And they got an outrage, because the minimap's super important to that game. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't have the minimap, it turns into a camp fest. And then they heard what we were what we said, and then they put the mini map, map back in there. They changed it up a little bit, but it's back in there. Yeah. And I feel like they're at least willing to innovate. And so, like, if a part if a something doesn't work with this Call of Duty franchise coming out, I feel like they're gonna have more attention to fix it quicker. Yeah, so they definitely like they're to more further back that. Go ahead, go ahead. No, it's just it just shows that they care more. They just they they literally put in more effort because they blackout. Like we play Black Ops, they haven't gave two shits about it. 
So we're still playing the same game. <laughs> game. Okay, so that that's actually that leads right into what I wanted to say. When the betas came out for Black Ops Four and for Blackout, Treyarch did listen. They did. And they said out loud, like in the, like I gotta remember, I was so hyped for Black Ops 4. They talked about so many things that they were going to do and that they were gonna be active every single week and providing weekly updates, and they did none of it. Especially your zombies. I was gonna say, what do they do for zombies? No. Remake no. every map they've ever fucking remade. Like, oh wow, oh my god, let's remake another one. That's some serious good content. I don't know if you guys remember, but Chad was fucking psyched about the zombie matchup and all this shit about zombies, but they never did it. <laughs> never did it. I, I, I feel like that was more... Where's the actions, Treyarch? Where is it? I feel like that was more... They had that idea and that plan to do it, but the game, the multiplayer was had no longevity. Blackout was fun, but wasn't as popular. And zombies was nothing. Like, no, everyone hated zombies. So, like, halfway through the game, not even halfway through the game, like, probably, like, two, three months into the game, they realized that, okay, this one's a bust. We'll work on the next one, you know? Because I I can't tell you who who plays multiplayer in that game. Right. Of all our friends, I can't tell you. Like, I have people on my list. I've never seen them once in a multiplayer match. Man, they gave up everything and just focused on blackout. They focused a little bit on blackout because they blackout's been getting adjustments and stuff like that. So they cared about blackout, and everyone plays blackout because it's just like that's the only thing that they actually fixed or did fixed. relatively right by. Mm-hmm. So well, I know. Sure. I don't know, and I'm 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 me personally. Uh, I'm optimistic that there's no battle royale dropping with modern warfare. As a stand, but, as a playable like alternative well, they're setting to themselves multiplayer, up for it with the battle pass. But they are setting themselves up for it, and there's rumors that they're going to have a standalone free Call of Duty uh, battle royale that's going to be um, down like downloadable next year. That's totally that's fine cool. with me. But just focus on making multiplayer good, and you'll have a game that people enjoy watching. People enjoy playing. That's all it takes, you know. Don't get rid of focus, the story. focus on that, you know. There's this right here, multiplayer. Put all your chips in there. You know what I'm saying? Make, make me play it. Make me spend money. You guys, you guys heard about the Call of Duty mobile, obviously. Yeah, yeah I've heard about played it. Though. I haven't played it. I've heard really good things about it, though. Yeah, I, I heard good Justin, things. Justin too. seemed to enjoy it. Because he played with bots, he got twenty four <laughs> kills off bots. <laughs> no, I I heard that like it's really fun to play. Like people wish that that would make a stand like a Call of Duty version off that mobile because it has old maps, it has old guns, it has everything mixed in together into a mobile game. I'm gonna have to try it out because it looks entertaining. I'm just not that fun fond into mobile games. I've never been a mobile gamer. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. Yeah. So we'll have to get Justin to put it on that next next week. Next week, we'll have well, and then whoever's on the podcast will have to play a few rounds or something. Well, to... Everyone on the podcast has to play it by next week. Everyone, just oh, you, yell at us again, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna yell again, and, and I heard that you can hear your mic works and your camera works on the game too. So, so I mean, I think be pretty... that I think this battle pass system is really going to work for Modern Warfare. It's going to give all of us motivation to want to play. It's going to help lead them into the future game modes. I, I, Treyarch wanted to do this, and they didn't do it right. And it seems like Modern Warfare is starting to take the Fortnite approach towards more of this. And, and that's what they have to do right now. I, I mean... There's too much competition for Call of Duty to. If Call of Duty is going to thrive, this is what they need to do. It will still live like it does now, yeah. but if they really need to thrive, they have to go this route and have to rely on microtransactions. And the thing is, like they're funded by Activision, so if this doesn't work out for them, yeah, it's a hit on their stock value. But they're still the Blizzard. <laughs> yeah, like you know what I'm saying. Like they still have. I mean, they, they still make a billion dollars, like on launch, right? Like. 
Yeah. yeah. They're, no, they're no GTA, but I mean, they, they push and, some serious copies off launch. And along with that, like, I wanted to jump back real quick about talking about Black Ops 4. I feel like Black Ops 4, the way it, the way it tanked, the way it did, is because everybody loved Black Ops 2. Everybody loved Black Ops 3. These guys made Black Ops 4 and were like, we're the fucking rock stars of the Call of Duty franchise. We're, anything we give to these fuckers, they're going to eat it up. So, like, they're, they, they got I cocky. feel like, I feel like, yeah, they got cocky. They're like, we're the rock stars. We're going to make this game. We're going to give them blackout. And these guys are going to adore us for it. Like, we're going to be praised from the sky. But no, that didn't happen. They gave us a halfway decent game and they and lost was, a lot of people. Was, and it was broken. Don't, don't forget that either. The game was broken for the first two weeks and Treyarch said, nothing 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 it like, is insane blackout blackout was glitchy as fuck the guns were insanely in balance zombies you couldn't get past round 52 without the game blue screening and every major youtuber that the, when they would be, get try and go through the steps every fucking step was glitched out you kill your game you kill your viewers like that when Especially when YouTubers start shitting all over your game, the kids just go with it. Yeah, it's like, just uh, a hive mind, hive mind, hive mind. Yeah, like, if every major YouTuber came out and started saying, oh, this new Fortnite map sucks, this new Fortnite map sucks, people would also go down that road and start saying that. Oh, yeah. But, but I mean, the map doesn't suck, though. Fortnite's whole system, I feel like, is impenetrable. Yeah. But, no, but on top of that, like the Black Ops Four thing, like they gave us a halfway decent game, like halfway halfway done game. Mm. I feel like Modern War is it's at it's Modern Warfare's time to shine because they've had flop after flop after flop, mm. and they just saw Black Ops Four flop, and I feel like th- there's going to be just so much pressure on them to get this right and bring back the series that they're going to do a really good job. And that's just me being optimistic because I love Call of Duty and they're probably going to let me down again. And you're probably going to see me begging for scraps on the, on the side of the road asking for a battle pass on Fortnite. <laughs> but- <laughs> that, that, that reasonable. We've had three bad games in a row. I mean, it's understandable. Like, World of War... Or, excuse me, World War II had, like, no replayability. Um, Infinite Warfare was trash. And then fucking uh, Black Ops 4 was... Meh. Nah. It's three in a row. Meh. It's three in a row. Yeah. So they need to fucking... They need to fix some shit. I mean, I didn't, I didn't even get some prestige in Black Ops 4. I mean, I'm usually taking them to the end. I didn't even get to one. Like, I didn't even get... I didn't even max out the first Jesus levels. Like it was trash. I couldn't do it. I can't. I think I, I got. I, I think I got to like Prestige Four and Black Ops Four, but like that was like at the beginning of the game. Like that was before League Play was a thing. Because as soon as League Play came out, I stopped playing. And I think League Play still levels you up in multiplayer. So like, that's the only reason I probably got that high. Mm-hmm. But going on, it. yeah. We. I mean. They got expect- from a guy from from people we were, were paying to play the game, and, and the amount of energy that Fortnite puts in for a free game is absurd to me. Well, they're also making billions. Of yeah, them. they're making they're making it back but, on the back end. Big but they time. wasn't making that much money in the beginning, and they still put in that much effort. That's the that's the dice you got to roll, man. Yeah. That's that's just crazy. Don't man. forget, like, oh, don't forget, has- they've completely neglected Save the World, which is really what it was when it came out. Oh yeah, it's there. I did. It's a forty dollar game. Save the world still has a lot of updates and stuff. And not yeah. nothing close. Not even close to what multiplayer is getting. That's always well, actually, ma- multiplayer is the bread and butter. But you're also paying forty dollars for Save the World. They could fucking sunset Save the World right now and give everyone that paid for Sunset or for Save the World their forty dollars back, and people wouldn't be mad. Oh no, definitely not. But I'm just saying, like, don't forget, like, Gabe, Gabe saying. That, you know, blah blah blah. All this energy, all this energy. I mean, their their original game was a forty dollar pay to play game. So like, wow, this free to play model worked. We made a lot of money. So fuck it, let's keep going. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. they, they rolled the dice. If that didn't work, then we'd be like, okay, let's push mad content to this round Save based zombie thing. You yeah. know. Yeah, but that being said, Save the World wasn't a bust. People still. Oh, I enjoyed it. it. I like a lot of people play Save the World. 
Yeah. It gets repetitive. It gets repetitive, yeah. though, because we're not adding it's shit. Repetitive. But it's just but, the whole tra- trade and stuff like that. It just it made it less repetitive. It made it more mm-hmm. enjoyable because you got to interact with other people if you actually play with other people. Yeah, and, and that's a very good note. Like, I don't know. I haven't checked into it or anything. I don't know if any of you guys, with this new Chapter 2 of Fortnite, did they do a Chapter 2 for Save the World? I doubt. Did that come along with it? I haven't seen it. I haven't I'm going to have to fact check this real quick. You guys go uh, ahead and continue talking. Yeah, can we get the answer to that question? The answer is going to definitely be a no, because every time I, 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 you know, I subscribe to that subreddit, and whenever it pops up, it's always just neglect, neglect, neglect. Look, they've done all these new updates in story mode. Here, we actually paid for the game, and we don't get... You don't get shit. There's still these bugs that are still here. There's still this still going on. Blah blah blah. So I'm gonna highly, 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 highly doubt that they've touched it. Um, you know, it's very rare that they that they seem to do anything and save the world. Or stuff is like months and months in between, where you know it's weekly updates sometimes for the other you know uh, battle royale game mode. So yeah, I only yeah. seen one update for Save the World ever since I got it, and that yeah. was like years. Yeah. So. Okay, so Fortnite Save the World did not get anything to coincide with Battle Royale Chapter 2 patch, but Epic hasn't forgotten about Save the World and has just released a new roadmap to let fans know what is coming. The roadmap gives the players the specifics, Save the Worlds, and the next several patches. The modes is getting a few Halloween-themed updates, including Fortnite Mares at the end of October and into November, but the roadmap's biggest focus is on when it comes in the current Save the World patches. After patches V11-10, second content update, which is scheduled for November 12th, the game will get a pretty big update, including the toughest boss yet, the Storm King. So they're they're putting stuff All in right. there. They yeah. have a roadmap. They're letting people yeah. know that it's going to be updated. You know what? Listen, for everybody who complains, the fact that they provided a roadmap so you don't have to sit there and wonder th- when things are going to happen, that's a pretty cool move on their part to do. Not not a lot of companies do that. They'll kind yeah. of just let you know what the next update is and go from there. Like that's cool that you know what to expect coming forward. I like that <laughs> from the space of because I I was an avid H one Z one player. Like I played the shit out of survival mode on H one Z one, and then the battle royale came out, and H one Z one got no fucking support, and battle royale got all the support, and H one Z one got sunsetted, and I'm still salty about it. But at least the people that love like that play save the world on a regular basis. I have an old coworker that only played save the world. Like he only got his first win when he started playing with me on, on battle Royale because he never played battle Royale because he didn't like it because it was competitive. But like people like that, seeing these updates that, okay, battle Royale just got updated. Where's our update. They released something that, Hey, the updates are coming. You know, that's a positive for them, even though they don't get the update right now. They're, that's coming, baby. It's coming. I think it would be fucked up if it's not coming. It would be fucked <laughs> up if, if they just lie. That's uh, cap. Uh, update V11-10 <laughs> is the biggest boss ever. Update V11-11 is them sunset in the game. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> Fortnite just trolling like that. We don't make any money with you. Bye. <laughs> That's cat. <cat. laughs> everything Fortnite doing... Every other game creator and developer can just look what they're doing and copy paste it to another game. Like mm. their in game content and their in game cinematics and everything like that is so far above everybody else. That makes the game, you know? People log on to watch the Marshmallow concert live in the game. People logged on to see a black hole because they didn't know what was happening next, but they knew it was fucking huge. You know, they're Fortnite's just hitting home run after home run, and other companies just need to follow it. As simple as that. Yeah, they have, it's they have like a cheat code. Huh? Just, like those are just some, some baldy moves. It's just like you would never think to do some shit like that. Oh yeah, they but they're innovators, and they're gonna push the space, hopefully, to where other games following. And jumping into that. I know you, I sent you guys an uh, article from Riot. Um, 
I, I hope you guys all read it. I know it's a couple of you did. <laughs> Pete probably did it. He doesn't know how to read. But uh, uh, straight, <laughs> straight from work to the photographer for the wedding. Yeah, just no, got you're... home. No time for pop. No, you're lessons. good. Good. We'll, we'll jump onto this. I saw it. Because... I saw it when they talked about it yesterday, but I haven't like I haven't dove deep into it. Okay. Bring it up. Bring it up next podcast, and we're all a little well more well versed on it. Okay, we'll save that to the next podcast. It's still fresh. Uh, we'll, we'll save that one. Put that in the piggy bank for the next podcast. Uh, so w- with that, skipping over that, let's talk about our my favorite topic tonight. Game what are you guys going to think? Oh, well, 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 we'll talk about the Game Boy real quick. We got five minutes for the Game Boy, and then we'll end on the my favorite ah, topic cool. of the night. Right, okay? Perfect. Right, the Game, game. Boy is going to be sick. All right, the Game Boy is going to be sick. You're going to play every single throwback game of your childhood in a, in a device. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, what's that one that just came out that, that plays everything? So, yeah. what, he's, what he's talking about it's called is, a fucking uh, computer, and you've been able to do it for years, no, Gabe. No, no, no. Yeah, he's talking about horrible. Analog's um, Pocket that's coming out. In 2020, uh, it's two hundred dollars. It comes with an LCD screen. It has USB Type C. It has pretty much you could put any game, boy game, advanced game, Nintendo game, Game Boy Color game, right in there. Play it full I screen. Mean, you actually need the fucking cartridge, or you, you you use this, or you use yeah your See, computer it out and... because that's bad. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like. Something to have portable like that to bring back the nostalgia of playing your old games. I still have Game Boy Advance games. I still have all that stuff. And something like that, like this is something I'm really interested in because it's innovative and it's cool. Like they're giving you pretty much everything that the trouble of making an emulator and all download, that. Download, and they're or just, get a Nintendo Switch or, uh, or DS. It, man, DS had the advanced uh slot it had the ds games and every fucking game got remade um there's there's other there's other it's dope i mean that i think the price the prices where i think i think you can do so much more for you can literally have access to every single game ever made uh, like with a i mean totally downloaded legally um like on your computer on your laptop um you know like ah shit on me please i'm not but i'm saying like (laughs) Like, where do you where are you going that, that you're gonna bust that? Like if you're gonna play it sitting on your couch, you might as well put it up on the on the big TV or uh, See, bring it up, put it on, play it on your laptop like that, or your Surface Pro. Something like that though. Like if I'm in a car ride going to another state, taking a long drive, something like that, I could bust out where it's not big, it's not bulky, it's nice looking, it's nice feeling. You know, it has a nice yeah. screen. You could charge it straight from your car. You know, you can your driver's do all gonna that. Punch you in the face because you're ignoring Dude, him. As yeah, he's I don't driving care. It, if I'm on a plane, I mean, playing that. Like you're just talking about a phone, though. It's a good looking device with a good screen. But I mean, that's the thing. Like fits. with an Android phone, you just download an emulator and dump all your ROMs on. All yeah, say, but I don't know. Like, know, I still want my phone you don't have to be that able physical to. Button click, you know, yeah, that's... and I still want my phone to be able to like text message and stuff like that. Yeah, like, when you're just, when I'm in a game, I can't stop. In like, uh, and that's why I don't play mobile games on my phone because if I get a notification, I have to stop and check the notification because I, I want to see what's going on. But I, just, right, I, I don't. Clearly, I, I, clearly, you guys are not excited about this. I'm I excited. Do. So we're going to move on to the next topic because Speed is really shitting on me right now. I'm just saying, like, listen, I've had Arcade in my house since it just died this year for the last, uh, what did I say, it was eight years. I've had an Arcade with every game known to man on it. Um, you know, laptop done the same thing, PCs done the same thing. Like, you know, the fact that you actually have to go source these games, which are 10, 20, Thirty dollars now. I mean, that's the hot thing right now is playing games on your actual systems. I know this is a different system, but that just means cartridge prices are going to go through the roof. Uh, I mean, even mm-hmm. right now, you go to buy Zelda for Nintendo sixty four. You're talking like sixty bucks, uh, even on like yeah, eBay. But, like, I mean, there's a lot of us that. I mean, me personally, I don't know if there's a lot of people, but like, I kept on to those old games. Like, if I had I an emulator like Apple. this, I can pop in all my old games and just start playing them. You know? Yeah, I got it in a bag in the attic. I got like fifty games in the bag. <laughs> yeah, and imagine just look like the nostalgia of looking through your old games and like, dude. So you got the one Pokemon with the battery, Red. Pokemon Red. Fucking throw that motherfucker yeah, in. That, start I playing that Pokemon Red. Game Boy Advance up there. Like, I got, I got shit up there. 
<laughs> I'm just saying, like, I think it's a really cool, like, I saw this article, like, when I was scrolling through some articles, and I just think, like, analog, I'm sure it's a little pricey, but I feel like you get a lot for those people that are not that deep into, like, emulators and stuff like that. This is for more, like, the average consumer that wants throwbacks, you know? Yeah. Hundred is a little bit too pricey. Can't not... you just go buy the original consoles for that price, or you just want the lighted LCD? Pretty much, it? is that really what you? Yeah, because I don't, I don't want to sit under my goddamn blanket again with <laughs> a flashlight. Got a <laughs> light. Yeah, light, put it on the top. I don't want to go that throwback. That's like a saying? big. That's a big mod too. Like with the Game Boy Advance, like at, later in its life, people were throwing in the backlit LCDs just to, you know, make it usable. But then your battery would die. <laughs> I remember using street lights to fucking play a game. <laughs> yeah, I remember my mom bought me that US, like that little USB thing that like had a little like click on light on it. And then, like, the and then was the, the, yeah, and then uh-huh. but then my game system would die so fast that I'd never use that thing because I was like, yeah. I'm not getting hours out of this. <laughs> Who did Game Gear though? I know you guys are talking Game Boy. Who did Game Gear? Yeah, I, was, I love my Game I had, Gear. Had, Color screen, had, baby, yeah. backlit with the, and I had the magnifier. Woo! Yo, game, game game Gear was money in the bank, but another thing that the battery life sucked, and that that whatever those like things were a lot of a lot of the Game Gears that they would blow up batteries when they died. Damn. And what, about have, virtual like, boy? what about Virtual Boy? Real quick. I have you know, Virtual Boy. Too, I love though. Virtual Boy. I you guys probably don't even know what that is, do you? <laughs> No, like y'all, y'all old. It was old, like old. It was like a headset. You like you put it on the tabletop, and there was like a virtual reality headset. That you like went into, and everything was red inside. It was all like wireframe, yeah. and you were playing like 3D like Mario games and shit. It was wild. It was wild. Me, yeah, me and my boy yeah. Keith, we fucking took it off the stand and we duct taped it to our heads on a road trip. And we're like, Hell yeah, <laughs> that's my kind of peeps. <laughs> <laughs> No, ah, that, duct tape Virginia, had to hurt. that duct tape had to hurt getting off but it's worth it man i think we put like a sock <laughs> on the back of our head to like Hell take the yeah. butt y'all look <laughs> people probably thought y'all were aliens <laughs> <laughs> these guys are from another planet they're, yeah, they're living in the world 2020 <laughs> no but uh last topic before we leave is my favorite topic that we're going to bring up real quick our merch store oh, our merch yeah. store yeah. is Finally, there. Oh, you did oh, that. Oh, look at that. that. Look at that. Oh, no, you did that. Pete what? was waiting for it. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Oh, I was man. waiting for it. So, so do, if, can you guys see me now or just my screen? We just see, see everyone everything. sees your screen. Okay, cool. So here's wow. our, this is our main wow. jersey right here, everybody. Uh, there's your front. There's our back. I mean, I love what they did with the, with the grenade print as the back pattern. Uh, straight fire, straight fire. That's our home. Here's our away. Yo, the away looks fire too. Yeah. Oh, uh, we got our this is our our pro hoodie. I mean, fire. Look how comfortable that thing looks. It looks so MLC cool. down the sleeve. Yo, fire. It's so, so dope too. Yeah. Here's our pro jacket. Uh, yeah. Nice back. And then uh, here's the rest of our. Uh, Rest of stuff. I'll just click a few things. This is the our flag uh, came out. That so flag was clutch. I didn't. This even is our strip jersey. Yeah, we got banners. Here's our banner. Uh, four foot, four foot wide by I think it's four foot by two foot. I know my centimeters off the top uh, of my head. It's or a good two size and a half. Flag. Yeah, perfect. Um, we got MLC text. Uh, got a heart hoodie. Yeah, we're killing the game right now. Yeah, yeah, hey. yeah. I mean, this is out. Check it out, you know. Merch is hot fire. So if you guys want to see that, there'll be a link in the description below. Also, you mm-hmm. can visit arma.gg slash collection yeah. slash yeah. misery hyphen loves hyphen company. Yep, pop, if you pop. just go to Arma straight website, if you click on an affiliate stores or like the third one down, you will see our heart logo if you just head straight there. But the link will be in the description below. Get you guys some Misery Loves Company gear. This gear uh, is fire. fire. Hot Official fire. Pro don't, Store. Don't. You read that there? Official Pro Store. Don't, don't miss out, guys. We're going to be rocking Only for professionals, out. by the way. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Only 
limited <laughs> exclusive year. Don't don't be that guy. I mean, look at don't this. You want to look? You want me looking fresh by Christmas time? Let's get that order in, baby. Yo, I love I love that font on the hoodies. That like Misery Loves Company spelled out. Oh yeah, that's, crushed that's, it. That's hot crushed lava. It. Hot lava. Dude, no, if red on white kid, is so clean. I know I had to order one of those. I had to get a black one. Daddy, Daddy made the. Daddy went full send over here. He's gonna have a big ass box mm-hmm. coming from. And let's give just a shout out to Arma, man. They they did above and beyond our expectations with hooking up the store and everything. And the jerseys, the jerseys. We we had some uh some altercations or no, some yeah altercations. Yeah, of I mean, listen, jersey, they, but. They, the first thing that they gave us was not far off yes. from what we wanted. I mean, it was it was really actually the design that you see, minus uh, the color palette. There was a few spots we wanted to change up color wise that we felt fit it, what we were looking for. They had, you know, they did their thing. We, you know, talked about it among our team, did our thing, and results were hot fire. Awesome. I think this was like four four edits in, or not even three edits, yeah. maybe. And they they absolutely killed it with the away jersey, the home jersey. They killed it with the jacket. They killed it with the sweater, yeah. the hoodie. You know, they just – if you're not copping this yo, gear – the shirts too. Yeah. Shirts. If, you're, if, if you're not copping this gear, what are you doing? Because you, this gear is legit. Like this – these are gear you can wear every day. Like you – It doesn't even matter if you gain. Like yeah. the, the Harmonade is I, so dope. That I it have, doesn't even everyone that has seen this hoodie gamer or not has been like uh, i'm gonna order that shit's hot fire yeah I, I put it on my snapchat and i have people that have never like gamed in their life they're like i i love it they're like i want it i want it yeah. fire and like you can just like it's crazy how like look at the hood on this pro jersey and stuff and from my understanding all of these I don't know if the pro hoodie. I know the jerseys are. I believe they're all sublimated. Like they'll never fade. Yeah. Um. You can wash them as million times as you want. Like I mean, that's how my like cycling jerseys are and stuff. Like. You know, you're you're good like, to go. And I'm pretty sure the hoodie and the jacket are the same. Like I, from one of my of previous too. like uh, amateur teams, I do have a a jacket and a jersey from them, and these. Like an, you have these, armor? Yeah, or not Arma, not Ar- actually not Arma, but uh, the company they went through provided us with hoodies and jerseys uh, to play in, and these blow those out of the water. Like these are so professionally made and so clean that mm-hmm. these are something you can wear every day. Like the, pri- it, listen, like, the price is right. It actually, guys. Says, it actually says it in the bio if you look at it where uh, the mesh, it's mesh material. Yeah, so the hoodies too. The hoodies too. Yeah, it's yep. ventilated, so I mean, you, it's perfect. You never get too hot in it, never get too fire. cold in it. I mean, yeah. look at the price point too, guys. I mean, forty six dollars for a jersey with your name on the back. It's um, literally that's pro nothing. Hoodie, jacket. I don't think even even the hoodies. Hoodies are cheap. Yeah. Forty dollars yeah. for a hoodie. Yeah, you can't buy a hoodie. You can't buy a hoodie at the store for less than forty dollars. And these are custom on, made hoodies. On, yo, go on Nike.com. They have hundred dollar hoodies on there. You can get two of them and a t shirt for the same price. Yeah, and these are hot fire. Hot fire. Yes, like, yes. Liquid, liquid hot fire. The name God. doesn't even have to be a gaming name. <laughs> Misery Loves Company could just be a quote for life. Yo, that's what I love oh, gear. Man. It doesn't make you feel like you're buying gaming gear. Like, there, don't get me wrong. Like, there are things that do. But, like, for example, take our pro hoodie. Like, an all blacked out version of that with just a heart grenade in it is, like, would be dope, and then on one of the sleeves, just get misery love the misery loves company thing and that script written up it. Like yeah. that's everyday wear, like that's street wear, that's fashion wear. That's Yo, honestly, saying. we really start the misery loves company street wear Instagram. That's it. it starts yeah. right now. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Oh, once I and we, we like, you act like we don't have six we, models too. We have every, six models that we're gonna be showing off this gear. You know what I'm saying? We have six models that we showing off this gear, looking Justin fresh as fuck. Too. <laughs> Justin has us too. Yo, Justin is a beautiful yeah. man. <laughs> but I, I don't think that site has afterpay, so we're gonna have to wait to do oh. his photo shoots. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> on the street, Adam, on the street. <laughs>
<laughs> on oh, that so note, yeah, he's not gonna watch this far. He's not gonna watch this far. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna <laughs> carry. Yeah, yeah I watched you guys. It. I watched you guys. Great job. Car- great I bet job. you. I bet you. He doesn't see it. Kara sees it first, and she tells him. <laughs> I bet. Next podcast. Let us know. Uh, Carol, let us know down in the comments. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in the comments below. In the comments section below. But thank you as always for watching this episode of Misery Loves Company podcast. Uh, for me and the boys, we appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate the subscribe. Appreciate the like. Go check out the gear. It's hot fire. If you guys do purchase something, hit us up on Twitter. Hit us up on YouTube, and we'll give you some shout outs. Tag us on Insta. Yeah. Where's you wearing it? Let's check it out now. Yeah. It's hot fire. Exclusive, buddies. <laughs> You want to get it while it's fresh. All right, boys. Thanks High for five. thanks for joining me today on today's podcast. Uh, you guys say out. We out. We out. Back at it again with the podcast. <laughs>